What is good guys, we are here with Gondra vs Trolls, go for Smogon, Snake Tour, and yeah, let me look at the teams real quick, I assume this is a Spec Spirit Marina, Mega Scissor, uh, could be Default Mega Scissor, this might be Karma and Zemov Lari then, and Scarf Chomp checks the Volcarona, it's defensive Rock Lando, and I think AV Magnezone, I know this has good speed death, and it would, I can check the Battle Bank Ninja really well, but I feel like Ah, uh, this is still AV, um, to help with like Protein Greninja. Protein Greninja with Gangsha HP5 destroys those two months, I assume it destroys all these other three. Actually, Protein Greninja, just look at Trosgo's team, Protein Greninja with Hidden Power Fire, Ice Beam Gangsha. Good god. I don't wanna say running through the six, but like, kinda. <laughs> like, some of the months obviously live a hit from full, so you need pride damage on them, but still, it's crazy. Like, do more people have to use their Greninja set? Knife of Vortex, Protein. But yeah, looking at Gondra's team, um, Diancy and Volcarona both are big threats here. Diancy, if it's four attacks, like it hits everything really well. Earth Power destroys this, Diamond Storm 2 it kills this, HP Fire, potentially HP Fire hits the Scissor really hard, and Moonblast hits those three mons hard. So yeah, he's gonna scout here for a potential Protein Greninja with a uh, Gunk Shot and go to Magnus Zone. So Gondra, if he has spikes, I don't think he has, but if he has them, he can go for them. Um, also, if he's protein, he can go for Hidden Power Fire here, but in the Magnus Zone. Uh, this nickname is Golden Shot. I'm gonna translate for you guys. It's a German nickname. So he's Battle Bone Granny's U turn. I'm not really the biggest fan of that set, but it works out here to get momentum. Um, so he can go to Volcarona and weaken one of the Volcarona checks, or he can go to Yancy and threaten this out with a potential Earth Power. So there's the Volcarona. This is named Murderer. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is CB, is CB managing for Snake? Uh, he might be. Because um, I think like some German player probably gave Gonro his team because of the German nicknames. So Trosgo is gonna go into one of his dragons here and I assume Gondra is just gonna fire blast and weaken the Volcarona check. And that is gonna come out here. Um, like Garcha and Maladi both will take like a decent chunk, especially Garcha will take a bit more from like a fire blast, like around 28 to 33 is my head call, something like that. Um, let me see. So Gondor's team seems quite slow, and I, I still think that it's defensive Rocks Lando. Um, let me see. I think it's Scarf Lottie here. Like, look at Gondor's team. He also lose to opposing Volcarona, kinda. Um, if it's Scarf Lando, so I think it's Scarf Lottie. To at least, um, that can check uh, Volk with Psy Shock. Even though some of them are on Buck Bust. But I assume this one has Psychic, because his team. Um, it's a bit annoyed by Toxapex for sure, so Psychic makes a lot of sense. Um, I think it's Z Fire Blast or Z Psychic, not 100% sure. But yeah, Z Psychic is a fire set because like, a lot, I see a lot of teams these days that just, um, they run Toxapex and then they run like Scarf Lily. So like, they just lose to Z Psychic Volcarona. <laughs> like it just runs through. Um, like I know some people might get annoyed, I do talk about Volcarona a lot. Um, lately I think that has been changed and I've been talking a bit more about Zygarde. <laughs> Because we haven't seen any Volks. But yeah, it's still a big threat. And finally, we see one again in a tournament g match. And yeah, I don't know why Trosk was taking so long. Okay, it's, it's Gondra is taking the time here. Time, his time is still going down. But I assume he's just gonna go to the Guard Shump and on the Fire Blast. And then he's gonna force out the Volcarona with a potential Rock uh, move like Stone Age or Rock Tomb. I'm not gonna get into the Charlie Baby Roll Corona. Um, like sometimes Scarf Jump carries Rock Tomb, but Scarf Jump usage has been going down um, like a lot lately. I just think it's Scarf Jump on this specific team. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into the Charlie Baby Roll Corona talk. Roll Corona is not common enough. To and yeah, he does get a burn. Uh, that sucks a lot. So see that it's already a lot. I feel like like that's like good damage. <laughs> so um. He still doesn't want to take a rock move here, so Trosco can predict him to switch and double out. And he goes no Landers, anticipating the opposing Lander to come out, and now Trosco can get up the rocks. Um, so basically, this Lander name is another German name. I'm gonna keep translating for you guys. This means everything stays the same, something along those lines. I'm not like 100% sure how to translate it for you, but that is basically that is how I would pronounce translate it. So yeah, smart play by getting up the rocks, and also good play by Gondor going for HP and ice because. There's no point in going for rocks when you have to defog anyway for your Volcarona. So, um... 
I can see um, Gondor going here for a U-turn, expecting Trosco to switch out, but hmm. Trosco might also just go for him Power Eyes to weaken this. U-turn is still fine for um, for Gondra. Then he gets in his Ladi. He can threaten this out in Defog, or he can. Go to the Yancy. Yeah, you can go to Yancy or Lari here. I mean, you can also go Grand, but then the Primarina just comes in and then he has to predict. And if he predicts the wrong and he goes Grand, the U turns here. That would be like a bit annoying for him. That's exactly where I, com I agree with going either to this or this. So he goes to this, uh, the Yancy. Um, how would I pronounce this? It's like high pressure, I think. Um, I don't know. I really don't know how to translate this. It's a bit different than high pressure, but some. Like, this means pressure, the second word. Basically, if, if I would translate it word for word, it means high pressure. But there's like a different uh, way to pronounce it that would probably be more fitting in this scenario. But I just don't know the more fitting translation. <laughs> so he can just fire over Moonblast or Hidden Power Fire. Hidden Power Fire kills. But I feel like he's just gonna Moonblast overall. Actually, hmm. Now, Hidden Power Fire seems like a cool play because you don't want Trosco to go into Magnus Zone here. Like, if, if he's AV Magnus on, he might try to go to this. Like, I feel like he might not have Earth Power because earlier he didn't go to the Um He went to Volcarona earlier when he had the option to choose between... Um, he just goes for Moonblast and picks up the Lando. Like, earlier when he had when he u turn on the Primarina... Wait, was it on Primarina? No, no, he u turn on the Magnus on earlier. And then he had to choose between this and the Volk and he didn't go to this, which makes me think that he might not have Earth Power. So he gets scared by um, a Bullet Punch. A Fire Play would be by... A fire play by Gondro here uh, would be going for Moonblast, predicting Trosco to U-turn into the, um, one of those months. <laughs> like, actually the Garchomp is not going to be coming out, it's already burned. But yeah, most likely we're going to see um, Gondro go to Lando or Ferro. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know this. I'm not going to translate this name. Oh, he just bullet punches, okay. I really feel like you, like the U-turn was so obvious, I thought you would go for it, so uh, yeah, my risky play that I was talking about wouldn't have worked there. Like I'm not saying I would have made that play, but I just love it when people make like aggressive plays like that and it works. Obviously it's a tournament game, um, you have to like consider risk versus reward, I would have never stayed in there. But if he u on there then he gets to trap, um, he gets to trap you with the magnet zone, which is why I thought that he might have stayed in predicting that. Like that was a, kind of a 50-50, he goes back to the end predicting the U-turn. <laughs> That was well played, and now he's probably. Huh, what did he even go to? Magnus on here, hoping that he doesn't have off power? Oh, he goes Scarf Lady. Wait, Scar he Scarf Garchomp, I thought. Is he going for a speed tie here? I mean, um, Gondor doesn't know yet. Uh, if this is he doesn't know the Lottie set yet, so I guess he's gonna just switch out back. Um, I would go Greninja here if I was Gondra, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go Feral Zone because he can potentially double into Magnus Zone. And if he stays in, he's going to go for the Psychic move, so Greninja is a good play. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Fire. He goes back into Scizor. Um, so he knows Scizor can take a hit here. He can... But he might want he might want to keep his Scizor healthy and go into Prima Arena here. But Hydro Pump... From Specs Ash, uh, how much does it do? Not pre Ash form, um, 32 to Primarina. I think I would have done like 60 to Scissor, maybe something like 60. Yeah, that's my head count. Primarina takes that quite well and can fire off a Moonblast here. Um, predicting doubling into a Magnezone here would be a fire play. I was about to say going for HP Fire as a fire play, but since he has a Magnezone, he might not carry HP Fire on this. But he just goes for Moonblast, plays it safe. Um, I can see him going for Moonblast again, predicting Gondor to double, expecting the Magnezone to come out here. Um, but if Gondor stays in, he might... I think he's just gonna Leech Sheet, mm -hmm. if he stays in, but if... If he pivoted out, um, yeah. What should I call it? What did Trosco predict there? Let me think. It's true for me, yeah. I think he potentially predicted him to go into Yancy. That's why he um, doubled into Scissor or threatened us with a bullet punch. But I'm not 100% sure, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean. I'm trying to think, but they're already playing, so I should talk about the game, about the new turns. 
So he went in the NZ again on the Sizzle breaking the U-turn, but it's the NZ. He cannot keep doing this. It's the NZ getting chipped down. Uh, I mean, Gondor got that play correct with the lead sheet. It was a risky play, but I kind of understand the play. Like sometimes people, people, ooh, fire play, ooh, fire play. That is one of the things that makes the Yancy even better. The the hidden power fire mechanic in in Auras, when you had hidden power fire, you were always slower than like the people. Um, they always knew they were first if they had Ladi and they didn't have HP fire and. The Yancy didn't always carry HP fire, so they like knew they were faster. But like now they fixed it so you can have mixed IVs but, um, because of I think there's like something that changed in game I forgot what it was there's some like, new training mechanic but yeah he popped there um and it was a fire play no words for that as the smokeless chair would say goat and what is he even gonna go to now? No Garchomp, I guess, but Garchomp is burned, so like, Garchomp is one burned and two he le like, even if it wasn't burned, he always has to predict because like, he can't just go for, like he can go for all three, but then he gives something a free switch and like, the, the Lando, like Pharaoh would eat it up because it's burned. So like, being burned makes it even more annoying for Trosco, but even if he wasn't burned, um, he would still, he would be in a tough spot anyway, but the burn definitely influenced, um, how he played a bit, I think. I think otherwise he would have gone um, to Chompa earlier, where he went to Ladi on the DNC. And I feel like Gondor kind of knows that it's Scarf Chomp and not Scarf Ladi because he went into Chomp on the Fire Blast from the from the Volcarona. Hmm. Because if you go to Garchomp on a Volcarona and you're not Scarf and the equivalence up, you die to HPIs. And since he didn't know that set, it might have been that set, and then the play wouldn't have made much sense to me. Um, yeah. So I guess he's just gonna hope, hope that he wins the speed there with Ladi. Hmm. Um, Gondor's gonna go to Ferrothorn here, I assume. Oh, yeah, he could double. He could double. Yeah, if you're Trosco here, you probably have to double in the Magnet Zone. Or you have to win the speed tie. Huh. He said go Ladi. I'm wondering if he says that to make him think that he's just gonna stay in and then he's gonna double the Magnuson. I mean at this point... Damn. Yeah, that was a good play by Gondra because he was gonna side shock if he goes for that. That was quite obvious, not gonna lie, but like... <laughs> yeah, that was, that was actually a really great play by Gondra. Like I said, he might double into Magnuson trying to catch the Pharaoh, but he has the mid-ground play of going to this. Um, because... Yeah, unless, unless Trolls goes in a god... Unless Trolls go made a god play there and Drake wing, this uh, works out really well. Um, yeah, earlier I suggested making that play, but now I didn't think about it. So he just plays it safe, and Primarina keeps getting weakened, so the next time it cannot switch in anymore. This was the last time it could switch in. Unless he pulls out Resto Chester, but I'm pretty sure we know it's specs from the Moonblast damage that it did to the Pharaoh. Um, he just... I don't know, he keeps playing safe. Yeah, that's a lot, that's definitely specs. Um, he keeps playing a bit too safe, I feel like, like there, were, there were like two or three turns at least where he could have doubled into Magnus and to catch this. Um, the early burn on the Garchomp obviously sucked for him. But yeah, I feel like, I feel like he like had to make some the double to, to Magnus on earlier. Um, hmm. So yeah. HP fire probably doesn't kill here if it's with death. Mm -hmm. We see it knocks off the AV. Yeah, if it was specs, it obviously would have killed. And yeah, he loses his Feral Thorn, but does it really matter? The Premier Arena is almost dead, it cannot switch into Grand anymore. The Garchomp is burned. The Magnezone is uh, heavily weakened, it lost its AV as well. And yeah. The Ladi. We know it's most likely not Scarf, so it also loses to Ashgren. So it's looking like Ashgren is gonna clean up soon. So he defocuses there to get rid of the rocks. Um, so Volcarona can also potentially wrap it up. I think he's gonna go Diancy here on Draco. You know what? Watch, watch him go Diancy on Draco and now go into Greninja on the side shock again. <laughs> but since he has a comment up, that play doesn't work because. Um, 
Laddy now lives the dark pools because of the comment. But watch him go Greninja on a Psy Shock. Then you turn out on and go back into the DNC on a Draco. But I guess he's just gonna go for his Vita. He doesn't need his DNC to win, so yeah, he's probably gonna go for Speed Do it for daddy, please, Laddy. Um, if he won this, he loses the speed tie and he gets his attack drop. If he won the speed tie there, um, this Ladi could have potentially made a comeback for Trust Go. Um, because it can live with Dark Pulse at plus one speed death. And. Yeah, he, like, Saisha could have killed this. Plus, or like, he, I think it's Psychic. He's common Z move, I think. Yeah, Psychic, not Saisha. But he has plus one Psychic or plus one Z move. Psychic kills this, Z move obviously kills this, and Draco kills this. Um, so Hagondor could have had to play around this uh, if he lost the speed there. there. Um, he probably. Hmm. <clears throat> now nah, he has a Scarf Lali, never mind. So he could have just. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Gondor didn't lose to this, but like, uh, if he won the speed there, maybe he had a slight chance. Yeah, Gondor still had a Scarf Lali and the Grand. It's not like he lost to this, never mind. Cause if he if he only <laughs> if he only had the Greninja left to outspeed this, then this could have potentially won. If this was a speed tie between these two, but we know this is most likely Scarlady, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, now he goes for Dark Pulse and he gets Ash from Trosco. Cannot do anything to prevent this. Uh, this gets two hit killed. This gets Okoda two hit killed, and this is burned. And even if it lives one, and gets two hit killed. Like it cannot kill him back because it's burned. So like Dark Pulse pretty much gets a kill here. And even if Garchomp can kill him back with Outrage, he can just switch out into Lando or something like that. Like, he just clicks Dark Pulse here and gets his Ash, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't think there's like any way to prevent this at this point. Yup, there's the Ash form that does so much. After Magnuson loses AV, it's just... Frail boy on his bedef side. Um, I think Ashgren specs actually does around half to Magnuson, even if it still has the AV. But yeah, the after it gets deformed, it obviously didn't have deformed yet. But yeah, AV was knocked off, so it just got blown away. Now you're gonna get Ash and win that's lame. <laughs> Never lucky. So yeah, Purina can obviously take one, but he can just sack his Landris here. And if he locks into Moonblast, then he can set up a Volk. Oh, he goes Hot Volk. Ooh, anticipated the Moonblast? Okay, fire, fire. I thought he would sack Lando first and then go Volk and fire off a... F Ooh, Z move. Is it? Oh, it's Z Bug Blast, okay. I don't know. I thought he would should have been Z Psychic on his team. Because his team looks a bit... An like, it looks annoyed by Toxapex, not gonna lie. It's not like he loses to it, but... You all know... We all know how Toxapex works. That one is annoying as fuck. And if it gets up T spikes, they hurt three of the members, right? So it's definitely annoying. I'd say GG, but not really. <laughs> Still glad a friend won. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Trosco's is Gondor Spanish as well. Gondor's played played for Latin America and World Cup. I don't know which country he's from, but yeah, Trosco is from Spain. Should he should be from Spain, right? Mm -hmm, I think so. So yeah, he's gonna click Psychic here, um, watch him go hard ninja just to <laughs> preserve for no reason. Now he's just gonna sack and then he's gonna go Greninja and click Dark Pulse. Okay, he's gonna Bug Blast. Okay, okay, okay. See, this is... Yeah, I guess Trosco had to bank on some switch there. Like, staying was completely fine. Like, HP what? Is that HP Electric for Mantine? Or is that... It's, that might be HP Electric for Mantine. I'm not 100% sure, but what what other hidden power is super effective with Primarina? It's not hidden power poison. It shouldn't be hidden power poison. You just forfeit. Thank you guys for watching. I think it was uh, HP thing. I think it was HP Electric, but I'm not sure. Yeah, peace out, friends.